Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's vlog, we decided to do like a last minute mini road trip and this was actually in 2021, but it was before, um, it was literally, we went into lockdown. So none of us had started packing, anything like that. Like we all just thought it, was, it wasn't gonna happen. But thankfully the borders actually opened up a couple of hours prior to us leaving. So we quickly packed our bags, got in the car, and then we headed out for our little weekend away. Oh, this is nice. I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, it kind of was, but like. So our first adventure for this trip was actually sea life. We weren't there for too long, but like, I'm so glad we did it. Hello. <laughs> do better at what you do. Seahorses don't have teeth. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> Seahorses can't drive a car. <laughs> I like buckets. He's a chunky boy. Wow. Whoa. Let me get my good side. I'm just like literally trying to get out. I don't touch it. What if you're having to the guys from up the shoes? Tim's struggling. Splash can't hold me. No. Come back. Can he stop exploring? <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Yeah, we got some pretty humorous photos we got some good photos as well the sharks were pretty cool though and i did quite like the octopus and then to finish off day one we played a bunch of card games and we drank we just chilled out because day one was pretty much just driving there it was like two hours to get there and we pushed in the aqua life thing we went out i think we went out for nando's we went out for nando's and we all agreed that we would get the hottest spice there was um tim went to the bathroom and then he came back with maccas but um yeah we had a good night and we're gonna follow it on with the next day <laughs> what are you two whispering about? I stop making out. <laughs> he's, he's got that in his back. <laughs> Bro, not good enough, clearly. Come on, start on Tim, start on Tim. I'm laughing so it doesn't raise that, and I just walk in. Okay, so it's the next day and I actually can't remember how we found this place, but it's an abandoned building that we came across because originally we were up in the mountains and we were looking for this, um, it was like a hedge maze, which is the first place you saw. We never actually ended up doing it, but then after that we were like traveling. Um, it's pretty sick though because it's like a whole entire like truck that's been left behind. Oh, whoa, there's a big truck. Oh, that's cool. So got like a couple of photos with Tim and stuff around it. Um, but yeah, this day is actually kind of a blur. After that, I remember we went to the shops because everyone was kind of dying of like hunger slash like <laughs> hunger people. <laughs> but um, we went, we all got like a coffee or a hot chocolate, whatever it was. Um, from this, like this little coffee cup. I'll put the photo up, but it was so cute. So cute. After that, we ended up going up a mountain yet again. There was just a lot of driving this day, I remember. Um, I think it was Mount Cuthum, Mount Cuthum Mountain. We went to the same mountain twice, um, but the first time we went, <laughs> we saw, okay, this is what happens when we followed Tim. We didn't go on the path that it followed, and we went off some different path that looked like a path, but it wasn't, so we ended up <laughs> dangerously on edges of mountains. Um, it looked cool nonetheless, but it was not the way to go. Side of the cliff. I don't want to be following anyone's path. <laughs> Your own We're gonna die. <laughs> this is gonna be it. <laughs> Straight up, but Tim, you gotta go first, you gotta lead the way. You know what we need? Wilson. Wilson will get us up there. Um, and then we ended up not making it to the top because we had to come back down. It got too late. Da, da, da. But yeah, it was sick. Like the place was awesome. Like you could see on the video, there was like all the like rocks and stuff so it was very cool i enjoyed it 
one thing though we were not obviously dressed for it i literally had converse on and a skirt and we're climbing up <laughs> uh, the steepest like m like i didn't even know what it was it was like straight up it felt like we were rock climbing and that's not <laughs> the best of that kind of stuff so she struggled a bit but we got there in the end so at the end of the night too we ended up playing a couple more games we bought trouble which is like <laughs> there was only frozen trouble left but it is such a good game like i'm so good at it <laughs> not modest at all it was very hard for people to beat me i can't remember if they did but nat was also very good at uno and that is not my forte we also made homemade pizzas that night and they were slightly burned but very good give me some more <laughs> Give me some more. That's so good. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the final day of our journey, we actually headed to the Ginger Factory, which was pretty darn cool. I had no idea it existed, and it was such a cute little place. So yeah, they actually have a cafeteria in the main area because it's free entry, and then all the locals and stuff can actually come and go when they please. And there's also some like really cute markets, or well, not markets, but the little outside stalls. They also have the tram that goes around the whole entire block, which is so cute. <laughs> so we ended up actually doing the ginger tour which was very cool there was only a small group of us um, maybe about 10, 10 people or so but yeah it was cool the lady walked us through like the back area and then because of covid ooh, loud car because of covid like there were certain things that we couldn't do such as like going inside the area we kind of just saw from banisters up the top but yeah she went through everything about like how the company started how they harvest and you know plant all the ginger everything like that and then at the end of it they had like these uh platters with different flavored ginger styles it was like meatballs it was i don't know it was a bunch of things but you're gonna see <laughs> tim's reaction to it very shortly actually my leg put it in right now <laughs> so yeah moving on we then did the boat ride which i was talking about and it is so cool like the guy saw us come from a mile away because we were so excited and then after the ride he actually loves to do it again because he said there was no one around and he was like why not? So that was very nice of him. You have to count how many gingerbread men you see or something. Oh well I wonder where he could be. Oh wow, gingerbread city. Oh that reminds me of King Kong. No, the Ghostbusters, the giant mushroom. Oh yeah. Down by the riverside. Da -da. Okay, so moving on from the ginger factory, we actually wanted to see a sunset at the um, Mount Coulomb mountain this time. So we like raced there. We ran, <laughs> we ran up this mountain. Actually, we also ran down it, which was absolutely terrifying. Would not recommend because once you pick up speed, you cannot stop. But yeah, we were obviously once again not prepared for this uh, climbing. Had Converse, had a dress on this time. You know, it is how it is when we are when we're, when you're with us. But this mountain was amazing. I don't know why, but the big boulder like bricks remind me of like like Greece or something. I do not know why, but it was so beautiful. If this thing was like if this mountain was near me, I would probably do it all the time. But we had an absolute blast on it, and we took so many corny photos. I'm talking. <laughs> so many we were surely the entertainment of that mountain no, no doubt about it so yeah that is it for our mini road trip it was honestly so good can't wait to do another one and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one stay safe everyone and goodbye